My name is Robin and I'm in Alamosa, Colorado. Fortunately, I've seen a lot of overdoses. <laughs> um, you, you know, you put it in a spoon with water and you cook it, you know, to break it down, then filter it into your needle and use, it, you know, use a piece of cotton. And then, you know, you have to find a vein and shoot it up. And the, the more you do that, the harder it is to find a vein, you know? So, yeah. So the trick to finding a good vein is, well, for, to, honestly, to, if you can see it. If you can see it, then that's a that's a good that's a good bet right there. Actually, I remember in the beginning, I even looked up online and printed out a chart of the vein and artery system in the human body, and and where are they are located. So I knew because my I'm not I can't really see any of mine, so I would just go by the chart and so I knew where they were, you know. And the two most memorable ones were, I woke up and my uh, my partner of five years was dead on the couch with me. And then another time was another friend of mine. He spent the night in my house in, in, in my bed and I woke up and he was dead in my bed. And he wasn't even an opiate user. <laughs> he just decided to try a little bit and I had sh like shot 10 bags that night and then I went and got 10 more. So really I shot 20 and he just sniffed one and he died. But depending, you know, if they're, you know, I want to make sure they're breathing, you know, for sure. You know, so, you know, put a mirror to their face or, you know, I would try and wake them up by shaking them, hitting them, pouring ice water on them, you know. I mean, um, and then calling 911, you know, and then trying to clean up the house as fast as possible. So, you know, I've done that a lot. Um, do you carry Narcan? Yeah, I, I, now it's, um, and in Florida as well, it's like very rarely available, like at the methadone clinics or here at the needle exchanges. Because it, it, you never know, you know what I'm saying, that you could save a life at any time. Anyone could need it, you know. I mean, not just me necessarily, but, uh, you know, another person. And even if your people are clean off of drugs, you know, it, people could relapse at any time, you know, things can happen. So it's just, I think it's cool that we can have that, we can have that you know.